Right, here I am, thoughts from the office, Rednecks Pride Outdoors. I'm stuck in traffic, hands free, and uh, bored. And I got to thinking about some of the uh, conversations I've been having in a while, for the last few weeks with turkey hunting. I mean, turkey season's right around the corner. It's, uh, I think it's March 25th, I think. Yeah, March 25th. And our turkey season is about a month away. And um, getting down to the nitty gritty on getting the scouting done and figuring out, you know, where the where the birds are going to be at. I've, I've seen, I haven't seen it yet, um, but I'm sure it's happening. But I've seen some folks post up and I've talked to some folks that are telling me they have flocks with the toms and the uh, hens are combined, which is what I've been looking for. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't looked for a flock in about a week, week and a half. Been so busy that I haven't been out looking for the flocks. But that's that's what I anticipate. I love it when you start to see the uh, the toms and the hens all together. That tells you breeding's on. And. Um, that's when you learn everything that you need to learn. If you get off your tail and get out there and listen to them, get out there and watch them. You know, you, you see a, a flock of turkeys, you're driving down the road and you see a flock of turkeys and you don't have to be anywhere quick, just pull over. If you've got a pair of binoculars, just pull over and watch them. Watch the body behavior, watch what the what the toms are doing when they're in, trying to interact with the females, the hens, and the hens aren't paying any attention to them. And then the hens who are paying attention to them. You'll see at, as you, the more the more you get into it, you'll see that the the true nature of the way is the hen comes to the tom. Now that tom being a male, like we are, he wants to put himself into the place where there's most, where there, there's the most hens, and where they ain't got to travel. You know, he's thinking about them. He, you know, they don't have to travel that far. Um, so I mean, it's it's you know, you're an old time turkey hunter. You know all this stuff. You've got your you've got your plans all figured out. You already know what you're doing. I'm talking to the new turkey hunter. I'm talking to the one that's been hunting for two or three years and having a hard time about it, or we're just starting out and we're just wanting them to get better, okay? And they've been following tradition, 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 what everybody talks about. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to talk about in this video preseason calling. I don't feel like dealing with that today. Uh, well, I, I will say this: don't don't go crazy, all right? Um, don't don't call the birds to you, okay? Don't do that. But let's face it: the reality factor is, if you're a brand spanking new turkey hunter and you just learn how to use a call, your tendency is you're going to try to call to those birds. And uh, I'm just going to tell you, if you do and they answer you one time, quit and get on out of there. All right, now I'm, I'm, I'm going to be roasted just on that one. But anyway, what I'm talking, what I want to talk about today is a lot of the folks are saying, how, how do you practice, uh, how do you, how do, how, what do you do when you're calling? And um, I, I, and they ask, what, what, what call do I like the best? Well, I, I'm, a, I'm a diaphragm guy. I love diaphragms, okay? But I also use pot calls, both slate, glass, aluminum, copper. All right? I, I, like, I like all of those pot calls. Uh, I'm a box call man. I love box calls. I love high pitch. I love low pitch. I like all kinds of box calls. But my preferred call is a is a diaphragm, and and um, uh, I just like using a diaphragm. And, and typically, what I'm going to do in a hunt, if I'm hunting, 
I'm going to start off with uh, all three in my hand, or all, th all two in my hand and one in my mouth. All right, I'm going to start off with a pot call, and I'm going to start off with a, with the, uh, a box call. And people say, "What?" And I say, "Yeah, yeah, I, I work the pot, and I work the box, and I work the diaphragm all at the same time." Obviously, you're not going to work the pot and the and the and the uh, box at the exact same time, but I'll. I'll work the I'll work the pot and then put it down and work the box and then put that down and and and, and work the, uh, the the pot again and the whole time I'm using my diaphragm. Well, that's too much calling. Yep, it could be. If that's what you think, that's yep, that's too much calling. Uh -huh. Quit. Wait two hours. Wait two hours. If that's what you want to do, then you go ahead and do it. I ain't doing that. I want a hot gobbler. I want him coming in. I ain't got time to waste four or five hours on one single bird. I want him hot. I want him coming. If I can't, if he's not hot and not coming, I'm gonna leave him alone and go off. Come back on him or come back another day on him. Hopefully he'll be hot at that point. All right, so get back I'm going to use your pot call I'm going to use my box call and I'm going to use my diaphragms now as I'm hunting and I, I get that bird started on all three calls and now that bird is coming in uh, I'm going to drop off one call me personally I drop off with the pot call uh, a lot of guys like the pot call better than the than the box call but me personally I like the uh, box call better than I like the pot call Unless, unless the box call ain't working. If, if, if they're just not interested in that box call, then, then um, you know, then it's the opposite. But most of the time, I'm going to drop off the pot. I'm going to put the pot down and stop using it. And I'm going to continue on with the uh, box call and the, uh, the diaphragms. And I'm going to keep on going with those two as he's coming in. Um until he's getting into the place that he's going to see my hands moving and it's get it's getting it's getting trigger time at that point in other words so at that point i'm going to put the box call down and i'm going to continue on with the uh the mouth diaphragms and i've got a reason for that and and, and, and again it may be completely off base i don't know but but the but the reason i do that is this I have found that if I am calling with a single call and then I introduce another call to the, uh, to the situation, a lot of times they stop coming in. And um, so, so, say, so say I'm using a box call, a box call, and he's coming in, he's coming in, he's coming in, and then... And then I, 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 I switch totally over to uh, a pot call. All right. A lot of times they'll stop. Say, huh. You see, I stopped using the box call, and I started using the, uh, the pot call. I introduced a brand new sound to them, a brand new tone, if you will. I'm using the same words, but it's a brand new tone. It's a brand new sound. And a lot of times they'll stop on that. Not all the time, but a lot of times it will. So I have found that if I start off with all three and then drop one off, I'm still using the two that it was used to hearing and it was coming in on. And then I drop another one off. I didn't introduce a new sound. I just stopped making the other two sounds, which is completely normal. That happens all the time. Turkeys stop talking just for kicks and giggles and stop talking. And uh, typically, typically, not all the time, with my diaphragm, I can I can be the more aggressive dominant hen. I'm not talking about loud. I'm not talking about volume. I'm talking about I can be that dominant hen that's the boss. I can also change my tones and my pitches easier with my with my uh, diaphragm. I can make it 
a key key right on down to a hand and if I need to I can bring it right on down to a to a to a tom uh, gobbler yelp you know just by opening your mouth up just a little bit more letting letting less taking less pressure off of that reed and and just rah, 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 that type of a, a sound to it you know and um, so so I, I, hopefully you're seeing what I'm saying I start off with three I drop off one I drop off two I continue on trigger time with my diaphragm now if you can't blow a diaphragm you're going to start off with a pot and a, and a, and a, and a box and then you're going to drop off which one it doesn't matter my son is a is a pot call man he'd rather he'd rather use the pot than the box so he's going to be just the opposite of me he continues with his diaphragm okay but if you can't blow a diaphragm figure it out all right you may you may want to have a pot you may want to have a box call and you may want to have a hand yelper you may want to have a uh, tube yelper. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever calls you're proficient with, whatever calls you feel comfortable with, use them. All right? Strategy, thinking through strategies. You know, uh, I know there's a lot of people that's going to say, uh, you got to do it this way and this way only, and and they do, and they only do one thing or you know whatever, uh, and it works for them. And I'm not going to bash it. For me, I'm not going to get in a rut. I'm going to be in a position that I can always think out of the box. And I can always finagle something, make something happen, if you will. Okay, is that is that making sense to you? So, yeah, it's just a just some mindset. I'm sure I'll get a lot of people disagreeing with me. That's good. I'm glad. I'm not a. I'm not beyond being wrong. Find the, find the method that works for you. This is just a method that I personally like to use. And I have been quite successful. When I want to be successful, I'm quite successful. All right. uh, being a call manufacturer, I manufacture calls, and I don't make them for your ears. I make them for the turkey's ears. And I've had to go out and call a lot of turkeys in using unorthodox sounds. Sounds that I ain't never heard a turkey do that. Well, if you get out there and you listen to the flocks, you might. Next uh, video I do, unless unless I start to see the, uh, the target scouting coming in, but probably the next video I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about Who I talk to when I'm calling. That might be surprising to you. Most people call the Tom. Especially in the early season, I call the hen. I will we'll 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 do another video on that and, and, and I'll throw my thoughts out there on that for you. See if we can't get some spurs flying. Well until then, I'm gonna leave it there. Rednecks pride outdoors. Thoughts from the office. I'll catch you next time.